Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video, doing the 15th Christmas update for today's uh, third, uh, third video. So, um, we're going to have another look again at CFSV29 monthly forecast for the uh, Christmas period. Again, we can't ping down whether to the exact day of Christmas with these uh, updates too far away. It's actually three weeks today, so that's still quite a long way away in terms of the weather. Uh, we're looking at a trend of month. We've definitely had a trend over the past... A uh, few updates, really from round update seven, when the trend started kicking in. And the trend was for an unsettled, uh, westerly, stormy, zonal type pattern to be setting up in mid to late December and through to the start of January. Of course, just because we have a trend doesn't mean that it's the right trend. The model could well have the wrong trend. And we know that the shorter range models at the moment are picking up on a Scandinavian high and easterly wind possibilities. Uh, for next week. Now, that's some way short of Christmas, of course, but I don't think the CFS has really been picking that out over the past few updates. So, um, I think just a case of uh, watch this space and see how this is going to develop. But we will see whether the 15th update uh, has any deviation from the trend. Will the 15th update be the one that starts to drag the CFS V2 kicking and screaming towards something more blocked and colder? You'll find out very shortly. Just to say that today's um, other two videos, so the first video up was the E7F um, 30 day ensemble forecast, and then the second video was a regular week to 10 day weather forecast update. That video is on the homepage. The uh, model again, CFSV2, nine monthly forecast from the website MetroSeal.fi. You can find the link to MetroSeal on the links page. Uh, it was generated midday yesterday, so it's a midday run of the CFS nine monthly forecast. We always try and use the same uh, run all the time we can, which is the midday run, for no particular reason. That's just what we choose at random. It shouldn't make any difference uh, out to before which one you use, but it's always best to try and stick with the same run that you start off with, uh, if you can. So we can't be told off for cherry-picking any particular outcome. This is exactly how these uh, um, updates have been coming out as we have been doing them. So I'll get back to you very shortly just to say that the Chris Shop is still open. You've still got plenty of time to get Chris Shopping from Amazon. Uh, so if you would like to do Chris Shopping at Amazon, uh, then all you have to do is click the green button that says uh, Gas Chris Shop. It takes you through to our Chris Shop page. And from there, you can either use the Amazon search widget to search out whatever item you would like to buy. Alternatively, just click through the Amazon banners. Go from Gas Lovers to Amazon and uh, then search out your item when you get to Amazon. But either way, you're going to be doing your shopping at Amazon in the end. You will be taken through to Amazon from the search widget to buy your item there. So you're not doing anything differently. You're still buying your item from Amazon. It's just purely the fact that you've gone from Gaz Office to Amazon. That means we get the revenue fee on the things that you are buying. It's been a big success again this year. So a big thank you to everyone for doing Christmas shopping uh, through Gaz Office at Amazon. And uh, still plenty of time, of course, to get those Christmas presents out to you. Right, we're going to start off on the 15th of December, and we can see that the uh, CFSV2 has us in a flat westerly flow here. Now, at this point, the shorter range models are hinting at something a lot more blocked with um, high pressure to over Scandinavia or somewhere to the north and easterly wind. So already we have a divergence between what, what the long range CFSV2 nine monthly forecast is predicting uh, for around 10 days' time. And what the shorter range models are predicting. Anyway, we shall carry on. And we go from the 15th through to the 16th of December. And we find high pressure building to the south with low pressure out to the northwest. So that pulls up some very mild air into southern parts of the country. But it is a little bit more unsettled in the north and the west. There's a bit of a northwesterly wind. And it's a bit colder up across the northern parts of Scotland. But down in the south, it would be nice and mild. We carry on moving through from the 18th through to the 19th of December. It stays unsettled. Low pressure is running through the country. Notice high pressure is building though towards Greenland. We haven't seen that much on these updates. So that's trying to force colder air out from the north. It's trying to push colder air down into the UK. As it is, we're quite mild though still here, away from northern Scotland anyway, with outbreaks of rain moving in across the country. 
Then we go to the 21st. It's turning colder now. So this high pressure is strengthening to the south of Greenland. We've got low pressure running in across southern England. And that's pulling in these much colder northerly to northeast winds. So all of a sudden, that is starting to look a lot colder as we're running up towards Christmas. And this area of low pressure will probably be bringing the risk of snow to parts of the country, particularly England and Wales. This looks like it could be finally a colder update from these uh, CFS V2. Now, that low pressure moves out of the way as we go to the eve of Christmas Eve and we turn the winds into the north. So this maintains cold weather as we're running up very closely to Christmas. We've got high pressure out to our west, low pressure to our east. We're pulling down much colder air from the north. That would bring snow showers to northern eastern parts of the country. And you could probably expect some quite significant night frost in with that as well. Have we finally got a cold Christmas update? Well, we go through to Christmas Eve, and that's how we're looking. So the winds still remain in from the north. It would stay cold. Probably risk of snow would be easing off, although there is some sort of disturbance moving into the north. But, of course, that's too far away to have any confidence in it. The broad theme is that it's cold. There'd be hard overnight frost. Daytime temperatures would struggle to get much above freezing. And you'd probably still have snow showers in northern and eastern parts of the country. So a very seasonable uh, Christmas Eve there. High pressure then ridges over the country for Christmas Day. That cuts off the northerly wind, but it's still cold. And a bad area of high pressure there will be lots of dry weather. There'll probably still be snow on the ground from the earliest snowfalls that occur around the 22nd and the 23rd of December. So it would still be uh, very um, wintry in many parts of the country. And it would be cold. There'd be hard overnight frost. And daytime temperatures again would struggle to get much above freezing under that ridge of high pressure. So a cold Christmas day finally for the 15th Christmas update. Albeit it's not classically cold. There wouldn't be much snow around. Uh, wouldn't be like snow falling, but there would be snow on the ground. Then we get through to uh, Christmas uh, to Boxing Day. So the high pressure is still there, but it's beginning to slip away to the east. Low pressure is starting to come back in from off the Atlantic. That's trying to bring milder air in from off the Atlantic because it's coming into a block of cold air sitting over the country. So there might be some sort of transitional snow event going on there for Boxing Day before eventually uh, milder air uh, turns the snow back to rain. And then we get through to the 27th of December, and now we are into a milder west southwesterly flow again. So that colder Christmas doesn't last all that long. Uh, and we get through to the 27th just after Christmas, and we go a lot milder with outbreaks of rain spreading across the country, and of course a rapid fall of lying snow and uh, ice. Then we start running up towards New Year and uh, we're pulling up very mild southwesterly winds there for a while before the wind goes back into the west. Uh, and it looks like we're getting towards New Year, we're going off and running into this stormier stuff again that the CFS nine month forecast seem to be very, very keen on uh, this year. So that's how New Year's uh, Day is looking rather stormy, heavy rain crossing the country, gale force winds. Possibly a little bit of snow in the north, but overall that's a fairly mild sort of air mass. I mean, I'll run you through the first week or so of January, and it remains uh, quite unsettled. We have a go at building some high pressure there on the 6th over Scandinavia, but uh, it doesn't really come to very much, and low pressure just overpowers that. And uh, after that colder snap over Christmas, we do go off and running into what the CFS is very keen on, uh, at the moment, which is this stormy, westerly, Atlantic-driven stuff with very little in the way of cold weather. And I've taken you into the second half of January, and there's been no uh, changes to that pattern. I just want to show you the midday run of the GFS, because very sh shortly now we will start to transition from the long-range CFS V2 to the shorter-range uh, GFS. So this is what the GFS is now showing at day 10, which is Friday 14th of September. Looks quite cold, high pressure in over Scandinavia, low pressure is battling against it from the Atlantic. There might be some sort of snow event uh, going on there, actually. And then it's low pressure powers through, probably bring rain to the south, but snow to the north. We keep those cold, easy winds going. Uh, up to Monday the 17th, we've got uh, low pressure, again, on quite a southerly track. Notice all this high pressure to our north. High pressure is around uh, Greenland, high pressure to the north of Scandinavia. That's forcing these low pressures uh, down to the south. So, uh, again, we are having a go at pulling winds into the east there. 
on the 19th of December. As far as we can go with the GFS at the moment, it's to Thursday the 20th. And to be honest, that doesn't look too shabby. We're five days before Christmas, and that still looks relatively cold to me. The jet stream is down there, running into the Bay of Biscay and into southern parts of France. We've got these areas of low pressure around the country. If I show you the upper air temperatures, you'll see it's relatively mild to our south, but we have got a lot of cold air sitting over and just to the north of the country. And uh, relatively high pressure towards Greenland as well. So, um, I mean, we're five days before Christmas there, uh, and I would say that probably isn't too shabby if you want uh, a cold Christmas. Although it's a very long way out, of course. That is 384 hours away. We are going to start moving towards the GFS very shortly now. So I think Christmas Eve will be within the GFS time frame on Saturday. Uh, Saturday will be when we do the 17th Christmas update. So we'll probably include the GFS with that one. And then by next week, the uh, full Christmas period, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxy Day, will be within the GFS time frame from the start of next week. So we will begin to move away from the CFS and we'll start to uh, run with the GFS, the shorter range, two weekly uh, model. And that will take us through then to the end of the Christmas updates. So um, we're getting closer to Christmas. CFS, it has moved a bit actually tonight. It is quite cold for the days of Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and the days before did deliver uh, the chance of some snow as well. So the, CFS, the CFS has shifted quite a bit here. Uh, but then after Christmas, it still goes off into that stormier, uh, westerly uh, driven stuff for New Year and early January. We'll see what the 16th update has to say. We're going to do that on Thursday. And it could be that the CFS will shift more. But you'll find out on Thursday uh, what happens there. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.